Hello friends, today I will tell you some advanced command of the Allen Bader PLC programming. So you have to open three software RX Logic Micro Starter. Second one is RX Logic Emulator, this is a simulation software. And last one is RX Link Classic Lite, this is the travel software. So first you have to go this point. It's already running. I will I will add new one and you have to select emulator software okay <coughs> and give the station number one okay no minimize this program also minimize emulator software so you have to open new I will select micrology 1100 Okay. As we know in Delta PLC and Mr. Bush PLC programming, there are two commands. One is the rising edge, and second one is the falling edge, as you seen in your screen. There are two commands is very easy to use in this software, Delta PLC software and Mr. Bush PLC software. But in case of the RS Logic Micro, we have to use this command by these three commands. This one is a one shot, second one is a one shot rising, and third one is a one shot falling. They are equal to rising edge and falling edge as you use you, you have you have used in Delta and Mr. Bushi PLC. So let's start. We will uh, first uh, use a controller property and controller communication. How to active? Uh, select this station number one. Okay, no, your software is linked with Im simulation software. So I will start by taking one input and one output. Use one input address here and use output address here okay and compile the program and download the so, uh, program in simulation plc and go to run mode when i own my input as you can see your output is permanently on as your input is on when i off the output then automatically up your output will be off but when i use one shot command then you have to see what is happening i will use one shot command here and give the address here binary address okay now compile the program and go to download <coughs> and run mode okay when i own the my input you can see very short time this out will be on okay you can see here again of the input and again the on the input you can see this output is on very short time due this oh, this one short command okay so you can see you can use this command according to your project according to your program according to your logic it's a very useful command and structure in address logic 500 software so go to offline no next i will use a one shot rising okay so i will of the this okay no i will use one short rising and uh, you have to give boundary address this is a storage bit and next one is output bit okay and use here one input and give the same address output bit 
and use some output command here uh, give the address output this here now i will compile the program and will use download the program and you can see when i go to first run mode okay when i on the input you can see very short pulse will come here even my input is, is continues on but very short pulse rising pulse will come out put so i will again you can see this is the rising edge command <coughs> so no i will use this command offline i will delete this one i will use osf one shot falling okay this is one last one is the one shot rising this is a one shot falling so same i will do uh, use address here and second will there and same address output bit i have to use this point okay the same address output bit and this out input so i will compile the program and go to download go to run okay when i on the input your output will be now on fast very short time is continuously off when i off the output then it will on for very short time yeah, you can see this is a falling edge you can see this is a one shot falling this when i on the input this output is off but i on the i when i off the input then this output will be on for very short time this is the over one shot falling the three command is a very useful command you can use according your project according your programming according your logic you can use these three command is very useful in programming if you have any question regarding this lecture you can ask a question in the comment box and you can also ask the question in my whatsapp number okay bye